I'm going to try and finish the sweater. Will she do it? I don't know. Stay tuned. Find out. Hello, friends. It is 11 o'clock on a day of the week that I couldn't tell you what it is right now. And that's fine. Nobody needs to know. Um, Augustine is sleeping. Felix is at daycare. Hallelujah. Casper's at school. And I am in the basement planning on sewing something instead of cleaning my house because I don't want to. I want to sew something. So I've just poodled around on the computer for a little bit, probably wasted a half an hour of my life, but you know, that's how it is sometimes. And I have two projects in front of me here. One is a cocoon cardigan by Patterns for Pirates. I have about 700 of these. You can never have enough if you ask me. And the other one is actually the same shirt that I'm wearing, which is a nursing style um, hoodie. This one has the cowl neck. Kind of tempted to do the cocoon cardigan first because I think there's actually a shot I could get most of it done. I have this basket here of like projects that I've had cut out for a really long time that I haven't worked on because other things became more important. But I feel like um, I can't really do any work in the basement right now. I mean, that's a lie. I could clear the shelves and the windowsill and my shelf here above my desk. Mm. But I don't know what I'm gonna do that. Uh, it just doesn't seem like something super urgent right now. I think I'm gonna pull up the instructions for the cocoon card again and possibly change the thread. I don't really have a color that would go, so I might just leave it white. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna look around to see if I have a serger thread color that would match this fabric. I don't think I do. Yeah, that's gonna be a big fat no. I think the pink's way too bright. This brownie color is actually not that bad. But like, do I care that much? Guys, do I care that much? Oh, I need to turn on my iron because I need to press some things, but I'm gonna find my pieces first. There's pockets in here somewhere. Are you a pocket? No, you are part of a band. Band, there's a pocket. Maybe that's the front. It's part of a band. It's a sleeve. That's uh, gotta be the back. There's my other pocket. More of the band. Perfect, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go press the pockets and the bands for the top of the pockets. Pocket bands folded wrong sides together uh, because they put the band along the top of the pocket. So I just need to figure out what side of the pocket it goes on. Take your pocket piece, like that, and then the band's gonna go along this part here. Here, band here. So I'm gonna put this atop of that. You'll see how it's not quite as long. Like the, the little band isn't quite as long as this. So you start at one and then you give it a wee bit of a stretch to the other end and that just keeps it a little bit snug. Then we'll do the same with this one. Cool. We're gonna use the serger to do this. Nice finished edges. Yes, I have all light colored except for the gray thread, but you know, whatever. So I've sewn um, or serged the pocket bands on here. And I just went and I pressed everything. So normally I don't top stitch because I'm lazy and when I'm just making stuff for me, I don't care that much, but I, I am feeling fancy. So I'm gonna top stitch these. I just need to change the thread um, to something more similar to this. So I gotta. All right, friends. So I have top stitched the um, pocket bands on here, and because I don't have a cover stitch, I just have a regular sewing machine. I'm using a zigzag stitch. Um, that is at least on mine. It's number four here. You can use number three. It's a lightning bolt, or number two is a triple stretch stitch. This one uses a lot of thread though, and I only use this one for probably like reinforcing seams on tights, like the crotch seam and stuff like that. Um, so I lately have been liking number four. And my settings are two, four stitch length, and 3.5, which is just like what the stitch is for the um, side to side distance between the zigzags. So I'm gonna go press these now and try and get them a little bit more flat, and then we'll move on to the next step. Look how much nicer that looks once you steam pressed it. Hey, nice and flat, looking pretty snazzy. So the next step I wanna say is probably the shoulder seams. 
So I'm going to just set my pockets kind of in this pile over here. And I want to say this is the back. Yep. Back. And the two front pieces. So let's just confirm that the next step is the shoulder seams because I'm really bad for not looking at the instructions, just assuming I remember how to do it and then doing something really stupid. So I'm just going to double check that. It's a good thing I checked. We're not done with the pockets yet. We need to, to press the top down and do like a an edge. Do I have to baste it? No, I just have to press it and then we got a... a, a, a and then we need to stick them to the front panels before we do whatever. Or maybe this one goes here. You guys, I don't know. Oh yeah, look at me. This one goes on this pocket. And this is why I need to double check because looking at it, I couldn't tell you which is the top of the pocket and which is the side. Oh. So I'm just gonna zhuzh it. Like it needs to go like that and then I need to fold this top edge. You can't see what I'm talking about, can you? These are the front panels. I have them like scrunched because I only have so much space. Um, and then this is the pocket here. So you can see that the curve of the pocket matches with the front curve of this. So then the other pocket right there is gonna go here. And then what I need to do is I need to fold this over like that so it's a nice like tidy edge, press it with the iron, and then I'm gonna stitch this along here this seam here, we don't have to worry about stitching down. You can baste it. It probably suggests basting it, but uh, we'll see. Because when we sew the side seams together, this will get caught in the side seam between the front and the back piece. And then when we add the band on, which goes all the way around the front, the neckline, back down, and then around the back, this pocket edge will get caught along with this when we sew the band on. So we don't have to worry about that. So the only thing I need to do is go back to the iron and press these two bits down and then stitch them along here so that they're all attached. You guys, oh, uh, why do I do this to myself? I cut this out 5,000 years ago. As far as I know, I do not have any more of this fabric. Um, I did not cut those pockets mirror image. <laughs> so this pocket, it doesn't work unless I turn it over. So like the wrong side's facing out. Why do I do this? I have a pair of pants like this, like sweatpants. So I would need, I would need it to be like this. You know what I mean? To have it all work. Oh, guys. I'm just not gonna put that pocket on. I don't use that pocket anyways, it's going in the garbage. So like, this is, this is the right side. Where am I? This is the right side. I'm right-handed. I always put things in my right pocket. So the fact that the left's not going to have a pocket, just less work for me. Whatever. I'm going to go press the top of the only pocket and stitch that on. It's just unfortunate because I did all of that work with top stitching, making it look good. And for what? For what, friends? With no pocket. This garbage. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We live. We learn. We move on. Alright, so the shoulder seams are on. Now comes the least fun part is attaching, I mean at least in my opinion, attaching the um, sleeves. I guess it's not actually that hard, but you know. So you're supposed to open the sucker right side up and attach the sleeve and then we'll do the side seams. There is optional elbow patches. I think elbow patches are fantastic, but I almost never do them on this pattern because otherwise it just takes I mean, it really doesn't take that much longer, but you know, it just, I'm not here for it. So sleeve, sleeve attachment site, for lack of a better term. Um, and then you do right sides together. So like, obviously the sleeve is gonna go like this. So you're just gonna flip it like this and then match up the center with the center seam on the shirt. And I haven't been using clips this whole time. I've done a couple pins just for like the pocket, but when it comes to sleeves, I find them a little persnickety. So I like to clip. So I'm gonna clip it at least at the center and the corners. Like that. And then like 
on that and then I'll just double check that that's what I need to do before I sew anything. So this is indeed what you need to do. So I'm just going to serge along here and kind of ease it in as I go just to make sure there's not like puckers or anything. And then we'll do the same with the other one. And then I think we do the side seams and then we do the band. And then it's done. Unless you want a top stitch. Which, I don't know, we'll see how fancy I'm feeling at that. We're doing pretty good. My bean is still snoozing. Um, I've got the side seams all sewn up. So basically all I have to do now is the neckband. And I say all I have to do, it's really only one thing, but it is a very long neckband. I'm going to show you. So this is just one part of the neckband, and it's the shortest part. Then I have these two super duper long pieces. So one, two. So I need to attach the short end, or like the short piece, to a long end here, and a long end here. And then attach the two long pieces together to form like a circle. And then we press it in half so that it's all one piece sandwiched together, just like we did the um, trim on the pockets. And then we need to attach it to this beast, which is the sweater, and then search all the way around it. And then possibly top stitch it. But between you and me, because I detest top stitching, that will be like a, maybe it'll happen. I do need to hem the arm sleeves, like the cuffs, because I'm not doing bands. Um, so that I definitely have to do, just to finish it off, make it look polished. But again, the top stitching on the neckband, we'll see. I don't know. It could happen, it might not happen, I don't know. Okay, after seems like a small eternity, I have the neckband completely sewn together and pressed. So it is long, and that's it folded in half, right? Like, it is long. So what I need to do is take the seam that connects the two long pieces of the neckband. So that's here. And it is going to go on the back center, if I can find it, of the sweater. So I need to figure where that is. <clears throat> and then you match up the other two seams with the side seams of the sweater. And then you have to like ease parts of it. So the neckband area, you stretch a little tiny bit. So it snugs it up around the neck, and then everything else you kind of hug the curve and kind of zhuzh it together. And then we'll surge around the whole thing and probably call it a day, except for hemming the sleeves, which we still have to do. Okay. Okay, one eternity later, and I have the neckband completely attached all the way around. So I'm going to start here, I believe, which is the center back seam. And I'm going to start surging all the way around. It's going to take 5,000 years. And then we'll hem the sleeves and we'll call it a right. And then that is one sweater made. Done. Happy nap time sewing, everybody. How is that for perfect freaking timing? Other than hemming the sleeves, the sweater is done. Unless I decide to top stitch all the way around it, which probably not, but we'll see. That's something I'm going to have to finish tonight when the kids are sleeping because a certain Augie Bean is awake after a very good nap and he's probably going to be very hungry. So I need to go get my baby. Bye. Hi friends. Um, I have no idea where we left off. I sound a little rough again, to be completely honest with you. I think it's been a couple days. Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. Actually, it's only been one day. Ah. <laughs> uh. So yesterday is when I was working on the sweater and all I had to do realistically was come down and hem the sleeves, which does not take long, let me tell you. And if I wanted to, I could top stitch it. Did I come down and hem the sleeves? Did I come down and top stitch it? No, because I was too tired. I was just like, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. So my sweater is still sitting here. In a little pile on my desk. But the kids are sleeping. It's only 10 past 7. And uh, I'm going to try and finish this. So, yeah, hopefully I don't fall asleep. And then if I'm still in the sewing mood, I might start on uh, that sweater right there. We're going to ignore the mess on the floor right here. Casper informed me when they came downstairs today. There was a big cat puke on the floor. Thanks, cats. Thanks so much. 
So I'm going to have to clean the floors again. Uh, but legit, least of my worries right now. The kids don't play down here yet. Yet. So I'm just going to ignore it. And I'm going to try and finish the sweater. Will she do it? I don't know. Stay tuned. Find out. Why can't it focus on me? I'm over here. There it is. One sleeve down. One to go. You guys, it's done. I'm hanging out in my jammies. You know, comfy pants, fuzzy socks. Let's turn the sucker right side out. All right, ready? Oh yeah. Oh, you guys. And then my one little pocket because of the whole pocket fiasco. But, I mean, it's pretty good. I might go press the, um, the band and like the serger seam away. And then I might top stitch it. I don't really want to. But I do think that it would give it a little something something. You know? But I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with this. Alright, who needs a close up? I mean, probably nobody needs a close up. But I'm giving you one anyways. So my little pocket would have been nice to like, you know, match my stripes. I'm not here for that life. Ain't nobody got time. So my little pocket... Hello. This is the back. I like that it covers my bum. So I can wear it with tights and like, no one's getting a free show. It's got the dolman style sleeve, or like I some, think sometimes people call it like a bat wing style sleeve because it doesn't go like right up into your underarm pity, right? So the sleeve seam actually starts way down here as opposed to like up beyond her shoulder. But yeah. It's nice and light. I don't even know what kind of fabric this is. Hold on. Oh, there we go. It is called Tri Blend Jersey in Antique Mauve Window Panes. Huh. Look at that. Has 3% spandex, so it has a wee bit of stretch. More vertical than horizontal, but it's a pretty, like, baggy, comfy sweater, you know? So I'm not too worried about it. I think it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. So I guess I'm going to top stitch this because I'm a glutton for punishment. Wish me luck, friends.